to the Excel Maven Expert Series. This is session number one, and we're going to talk about fixed and relative cell references. So before I dive in, just one quick uh, bit of background about cell references for those who aren't familiar. Uh, one question I get all the time, especially from new Excel users, is what the heck is the deal with those dollar signs that are included in some formulas but not others? And basically the dollar sign is the syntax that Excel uses to create a reference type. The easiest way to describe this is that um, the dollar sign essentially locks in a specific cell range or reference so that it won't change if you move that formula to other cells. Uh, so for instance, if you're writing a formula that refers to cell A1, there are actually four ways that you can write that formula shown here. Uh, you can write it with a completely fixed reference with dollar signs before uh, the column and the row, or you can just fix the column or just fix the row, or leave it completely relative with no dollar signs at all. So this visual on the right shows uh, how that reference were to change uh, if you pasted that formula from cell A1 through C4. A uh, quick pro tip, while you're writing a formula, if you put the cursor uh, right in the middle of an array or cell reference, you can just hit F4 and it will scroll through these four reference types automatically. Last thing to note here, always think about your references. Um, it will be extremely helpful uh, to enable you to work much more efficiently in Excel if you fix your references correctly the first time you write a formula. So let's jump into Excel and walk through a couple quick examples to help illustrate how these work. The first is your basic multiplication table from 1 to 10. So basically I want to write a formula that will populate the values uh, in the array from B2 through K11. So if I were to just you know do your basic B1 times A2 and then drag that formula to apply it uh, through column K and through row 11 Clearly something's gone wrong here. Um, this isn't right at all. And I can diagnose this by clicking on any cell, hitting F2, and it will show me which cells my formula references. And as you can see, no matter which one I select, it's always referring to the cell immediately above and immediately to the left of the formula. Um, so basically, because my references were relative uh, when I first wrote the formula, those references are getting dragged as I move the formula itself, which isn't what I want. I always want it to refer to uh, these values in row 1 and these values in column A. So I never want the column to shift to B to C, and I never want the row to shift to 2, 3, 4. So going back to my original formula, what I can do here is I can use the F4 to cycle through, and I want to fix row 1 here. Similarly, I want to fix column A in this reference, and now if I apply this down in the same way, this looks much more reasonable. And using the F2 key, you can see that now it's always referring to row 1 and column A, no matter where that formula lives. So let's take a look at one more example. Um, it's a VLOOKUP example, a bit more practical and a bit more relevant. So I have the state data tab and I want to populate values in columns D and E. I want to pull in the average SAT verbal and math scores by state. Um, I have that data in the second tab called state SAT data. Um, so let's just use the VLOOKUP. My value is going to be the state name because that's my common field between the two arrays. My table array, let's select uh, A2 through C52. Then column index, I'm looking for SAT verbal data, which is in the second column over. And I'm going to do exact match because I want the exact state name. Great, 559, that looks good. Problem is when I apply this down, I start seeing these NA error values. The reason I get those is because, as you can see, when I scroll through each of these formulas, not only is the lookup value changing, but the actual lookup array is changing too. So by the time I get to Georgia, it's looking for Georgia in the array from A12 through C62. Georgia doesn't exist in that array. So what I need to do 
is fix that entire array so that no matter where this formula lives, it will always refer to A2 through C52, and that cleans things up. Uh, second, if I want to apply this formula to pull in the math score, and I drag it to the right, you can see that I get an error value there too, because now my lookup value is changing from A2 to B2, because it dragged that column reference over as I moved the formula. So what I can do in my original formula is I can fix the A, now drag it over, and now it actually gives me a value because it's essentially the exact same formula. All I have to do here is change the column index to pull in the math score, which is in the third column. Apply that down, and oops, and we're all good. Um, so hopefully that makes sense. If you have any questions, <clears throat> feel free to give me a shout in the comments, and make sure you head to excelmaven.com to learn more about our hands-on customized training programs. Thanks, talk to you guys soon.